All right, well, I've heard from a couple people now that today's chordal might be another streak ender, so I had to take a look at it. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the train and cough. I've, I've been liking that as a two-word start. Um, I know it doesn't get you all the best letters, but it gets you quite a few good letters and a few kind of middle-of-the-road letters, so I like that approach. Um, and then, see, because now we've got, we've got four letters up here. We've got four letters here already. So, you know, we don't necessarily need to guess S, L, E, some of those good letters right now. Um, just kind of have those in our back pocket as those are the next ones that I might want to guess. Now, we've only got the T, I, and the T, A here. So, we do have two I's, two A's, two G's, two T's that are all yellow. So, I think another guess that uses some of those letters in new spots would be the best plan at this point. Because um, I don't... I mean, this, this could clearly be something like tight. Um, I think that's pretty good, actually. Tight's pretty good. Ooh, so, hmm, maybe, maybe. I mean, I did want to use T, I, and G in new spots. So maybe that's not too bad. Um, the downside is if it's not tight, then we've wasted a guess. So we could do something like light or fight. Check for another letter. But I think tight has a pretty good chance of being the answer there, so... Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, it was tight. Good, good. And we found the T here. Uh, did not find... Okay, so we've ruled out another spot for the T down here. There's... Hmm, didn't find the I or the G. Okay. So... Now, uh, I mean another... Yeah, I don't know. What's, let's see. Down here we've got O, A, G, and N. What's going to be... And the G... The G could be at the end. Something A, N, O, G, something like that. Or... Ooh, maybe... Uh, ooh, uh... Ooh, a long. A long would be good. Oh, I was going to say something O, N, G, but then the A would have to be early on. Yeah, a long would be good there, and we haven't done an L yet. I think that's pretty good, and we do have a yellow A here, so it'll check another spot for the A on that word, so... Oh, it's not a long! Oh! It's agony. I'm in agony after missing that. That is... unfortunate. It's gonna be agony, I think, because it's A-G-O-N, so... I think it has to be... agony. Alright, let's do that. It was agony, okay. We've got four guesses left and only two words, so we're doing okay, we're doing okay. This is only A and T and we don't know where they are. Up here we've got I, L, and T. Um, could it be something I, L, T? Could be like stilt. Uh, no, it can't because we guessed two T's in tight, so there can't be two T's. So if it's something I, L, T, what would that be? Can't be... Built. We don't have any other, but we've done all the vowels at this point, right? No, we haven't done E. Ooh, we haven't done E. Um, I don't... I don't feel like there's probably an E in this one. Certainly could be. Now, down here, this one has a good chance of having an E, I think. But up here, I don't feel like it does. But I'm not sure what that's gonna be. Spilt? Now, I would use the word spilled, not spilt, but that's possible. Um, if it's not I-L-T, I mean, the I has to be first or third, so it's probably third. And so then the L would have to be first. It would have to be something like this. And then what would come between the I and the T? Or between the L and the I, for that matter, actually. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. So, if the I is in the middle, the L has to come after the I. Otherwise, the I could be first, and then it could be something like this. But then you need another vowel. It would have to be, there'd have to be an E in there, I think. I mean, you could have a double I, I guess. But I don't like that. So you'd almost have to have an E. So, ooh, inlet? No, there's no eyelet. Ooh. 
eyelet. That's really good. Um, that might not even be the right way to pronounce that, but that's what I'm gonna say. That's like a small island, I believe. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, hmm, so, I'm not sure how to distinguish between that and spilt at this point. So, let's look at this one. We've got the A and the T. I mean, I feel like there's gotta be an E, probably. Not necessarily. Could be uh, something like this. With the double A and the T in the middle. Datum? No, that's U-M, isn't it? That's U-M, yeah. So, I mean, I feel like it's gonna be something like this, maybe? Or, ooh, we could do like waste or paste or baste. Yep, okay. So I think those are all pretty good. Waste, paste, baste. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna guess paste? Could also be pasta. But, um, yeah, so up here, it, it, guessing paste will, well, guessing any of them actually will help me up here because if I have the E, then I think it's eyelet and not spilt. So, um, I could guess any of those down here, but the problem is paste, waste, and baste. Yeah, so theoretically, assuming I've got this right, and there's three possibilities here, and there's two possibilities up here, and guessing paste, waste, or baste down here will distinguish the one up here, we're okay, because we've got four guesses left. So we could just go for it. The problem is, and, and of course pasta, I'll know that if there's no E, right? If there's a P and not an E. Um, I think I'm gonna do paste. I could do a, a, a check word, but I think this is I think this is the way to go. Paste. Okay, so it's baste or waste, I think. And up here, we did not get the P, so it's not spill. I think it's eyelet. I think it's eyelet, because we've got the E, we've got the S. Let's go with that. Okay, that is a really tricky one. And now I'm gonna adjust things on the screen up here so that you can see my last two guesses. All right, there we go. So, uh, I mean, I think it's based or waste. Is there something else it could be? Is mace, mast? I don't think that's a word. No, it's not a word. I could type them all in and check them, but that, that feels, um, it's not cheating, but it just feels, I don't know. I don't know what it feels, but it feels like I don't want to do that. Uh, I think waste or baste. Which is more likely? Uh, I'm gonna go with waste. Oh! So I think it's gonna be based, but... Uh... Oh, it... Oh, whoo! I was about to say, oh, it could be taste, but no, because we guessed the T in the first spot earlier. Um, and we already did the double T as a possibility. So I think... What else could it be? Yeah, I think it has to be based, so let's go for it. Woo, all right. That was a close one. <laughs> all right, well, we got there, so let me know if you uh, think that basting your food uh, on a tight eyelet is agony, I guess, <laughs> and how you did with today's Cordal. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Asking if a word is a homophone or a homograph is like asking if a color is blue or dark. Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.